Hi boys and girls, this is day one of distance learning, official, it's the official day. And here's a little happy, happy day, happy cupcake, happy friendship, happy birthday, whatever. This is how I feel when I think about you. So remember that. All right, so we're on the yellow page and it says at home learning calendar, second grade. And then it, down below it says week of March 30th to April 3rd. So day one is reading for reading and then math. And I'm thinking maybe your families have already looked at this, but if not, you can take it out and look at it. So the first thing you're going to read is the take home book, Annie Makes a Big Change. And I read through it again. And I find out that um, some people help an older lady. Um, well, the little girl has the dream of taking some land that they're going to make into houses. And she wants it to become a park. So you can see on the title page, it shows the park. It's called Potter's Park. And the older lady in the story is called Mrs. Potter. And I want you to listen for what the little girl did, not only for herself, but her whole community. And that's kind of what's going on right now, boys and girls. Neighbors are helping neighbors. And we're not just thinking about ourselves. We're thinking about other people. And this story has a lot to do with that. So she wants to make a park out of this land instead of people building new houses. But she has to get a petition and she has to write a letter. And remember when we learned pi, the reason author writes persuade, inform, and entertain? Well, she writes to persuade. Remember, we were kind of working on persuade. We were going to persuade Mr. Wright to get us some new playground equipment. We had to talk him into it. We had to give him reasons for it. Well, Annie has to persuade the some of the people that kind of run the town to take this land and turn it into a park. So I really think you're gonna like it. It's a good story, and maybe that's what you're gonna do someday. But um, there's some community helpers in there, and she Annie asks them to sign the petition. Remember, that's where people agree what Annie is doing or what someone is doing. So that's the first thing you're gonna do, and of course, you know what I do, I want. I love it, love it when you read those stories twice. And then there are some questions at the end. The next thing you're gonna do is watch a brain pop on cause and effect. So cause and effect is this week. And then you're gonna do spelling city. So, and then your vocab words are alongside the, uh, alongside on Annie's, uh, the book about Annie. It's annoy, complain, mumbles, PM, which we know is after lunch until 12 o'clock midnight, signature and shrugs. You might shrug your shoulder like, what did she just say? Well, that's the cool thing about the YouTube. You can play it again. Yeah. So I don't think any of those words you're going to have um, problems with. So, but um, just keep reading them and thinking about them. Okay. So then if you have trouble accessing the Spelling City, be sure to let me know. Any kind of tech problem, let me know, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. And so, then the next thing you're going to do is math, and we're talking about two-dimensional figures. So two-dimensional figures, and your math paper looks like this, and it's all written out as far as what page number. You're going to do page 351 and 352. And boys and girls, two-dimensional is just when we draw a shape on a piece of paper. So it's a plain shape or a flat shape. And all it has is length and width that we can measure with our ruler. So length and width. So that's two-dimensional. It's just we draw them on our page and you'll see that we have the different uh, shapes. We have a parallelogram, hexagon, and trapezoid. So, and remember, hexa means six, right? That has six sides, just like a stop sign, okay? So then it's gonna ask you to find the shapes and just refer back to the top. 
and then the back side is same thing. Circle your figures that match the name. So parallelogram, hexagon, triangle, and circle. And then you and your family can do the story problem at the bottom. It's about um, what shapes do you see in the chocolate bar? So you can't see it so well in the camera, but you can see it a little bit better at your house. You're going to complete one page of the daily math packet. So here's what's going to happen with that. I am way okay if you want to do two. Kudos to you. Go for it. But don't just do it and then push it aside. I need for you to show it to an adult. And if you want to just do one page like it says, that would be fine too. So remember this is called a line plot. So none of this is re um, anything new. Um, the subtraction with regrouping, just pretend, it, pretend it's into the hundreds, but just be, pretend it's ones and tens and you'll get it. We worked on all of that before we left um, home to, left for home to take our break. So page one, daily math packet, and this one's for April and May. Okay, I'd love it if you got on, you know, on a schedule and then just make sure you keep all your papers in one place. Even I'm working on that. Like, okay, where did that go? Where did that go? So uh, I'm even trying to get more organized, okay? And then be sure to watch a brain pop on plain shapes. And it's, uh, on, it's, under, it's in brain pop and it's under geometry, plain shapes, and that's what I want you to watch for tomorrow. So, um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to figure out a different way to do this, but for today, this is how we're doing it. I hope to have the camera right down on the page and um, point to it specifically. So, I'm still working on that. I need a little bit of help and a little bit of teaching, and I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to keep trying, keep trying. And on the back of the door, or on the front of the door, you can see the two-dimensional, three-dimensional shapes. So now I'm going to take the camera over there, and then we'll wrap it up for our first day of learning. Be sure, be sure, be sure to ask questions. Okay, so let's go over, and I'm going to stand next to it. So those are our, our three-dimensional those are the objects that we could toss and play with. But down here are the two-dimensional ones. And those are the shapes that we can just draw on paper. They have length and width. Length and width. So, boys and girls, I hope that finds is helpful. Your families are going to have to let me know what they need from me. And I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to keep practicing just like you are. So, um, good luck, and uh, I think about you all the time. I'm trying to figure out better ways to do this so I can be the best that I can be, and I know that's what you're going to work for, too. Remember, start small. Don't do a whole bunch of homework all at once. Keep it positive, and try, 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 just like I am, okay? I care about you, and I miss you, and... Oh, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to get on that bus tomorrow or go in mom and dad's van and go to school? We all have a great hug and we're, we can get back to normal. But this is our new routine and all the Minnesota kids are doing this. The whole state, all of Minnesota. Up north where my friend teaches, out in west central Minnesota, everybody. So think of that. All kiddos, K through 12, are doing it this way. Okay? See you next time. Bye.